Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Tainam Pawana Sapakta. Close your eyes and focus on the breath. Feel it all the way in, all the way out. Try long breathing for a while and see how long breathing feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. Try to find a way of breathing that feels good right now. Today we're paying homage to the, the King of Thailand in recognition of all that he and his ancestors have done for Buddhism in Thailand and in the world. It's because the founder of the dynasty realized that one of the reasons why Ayutthaya, the previous capital, had fallen was because Buddhism had become degenerate, so he worked to bring it back to its original form. He and his descendants had councils to clean up the Tripitaka, revived the practice of meditation, revived the practice of the Jodanka practices, laid the groundwork for the founding of the forest tradition. Up to the present king, he been supporting the forest tradition, especially the last two kings, his father and the present king. So we have gratitude for all that they have done. And the best way to show your gratitude, of course, is to practice. Take advantage of the fact that the true Dharma is still alive, still being taught, still being practiced. And it starts with very simple things, the principle of generosity. They've made a survey of the different qualities that the Buddha had to develop in order to become Buddha. And it starts with generosity, the willingness to give. Instead of coming to the practice with the idea that you're going to get something out of it, the first thought should be, what can I give? In the beginning you give material things, but you also give other things as well. You can give your time, you give your energy, you give your, you give your knowledge, you give your forgiveness for one another. And you just sit here and meditate, you're giving up the desire to focus on other things. You want to get the mind to settle down. And only when you give things up can you gain better things in return. It's interesting when the Buddha talks about the various motivations for generosity. The lowest, the lowest motivation is, I'll get this back with interest, to the principle of karma. The higher motivations are the giving in itself is good. It's a good thing to be giving. feels good inside yourself. You feel proud of yourself. You have a sense of self-esteem. The ironic thing is that the higher the motivation for giving, the better the long-term results are. The purpose of this is to remind you that as you focus on doing good in the present moment, find satisfaction in that. You don't have to worry about the results down the line. The results will have to be good. So as you're meditating here right now, the mind may settle down, it may not settle down quite yet, but whatever effort you put into making it settle down is going to be effort well spent. Because you've got to get control over your mind. Because when aging, illness, and death come, if your mind is wandering around, who knows where it's going to pull you. So you want to have it go in a direction that you feel is worthy, or you feel is honorable. And the practice of meditation is an honorable thing. You're giving up your desires for short-term happiness, for things outside. You're focusing on the goodness that you can develop right now, right here within, within yourself. That's where goodness comes from. It comes from within. We read about the goodness of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. They set a good example. But our experience of goodness has to come from within to be genuine. So you try to develop your resources here inside by being more mindful, by being more alert may be more ardent doing good. These are precisely the qualities you need to develop as you work with the breath. And then you can transfer them to other activities throughout life. So goodness starts with being good, being generous. And then the results that they come, you don't want to just eat up the results, you want to use those and invest them to make more goodness. It's in this way that the goodness that the Buddha set forth in the world they showed as a good, a good example, stays alive in the world. We've had people since then carrying on the, the tradition, such as the Jakri dynasty. They did their best to revive Buddhism in Thailand. There are people in a position where they can make a difference, and they made a good difference. You live in your life, you look for areas where you can make a difference. Try to make it a good difference. That your contribution to the world, however large or small, is going to be for the sake of goodness, for the sake of well-being of all beings all around. That way we take the example of people from the past and we put it to use, we keep it alive. That's the best way of showing our gratitude. 